हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज दर्चना राउत लेक्चरर इन कंप्यूटर साइंस इन आवर प्रीवियस स्लाइड्स वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट सम स्ट्रीम ऑपरेशंस दैट आर रिप्लेसमेंट इंसर्शन एंड डिलीशन ऑफ द एलिमेंट्स इन आवर करंट स्लाइड वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट स्ट्रीम हैंडलिंग फंक्शंस so what are string handling functions the string handling functions are the set of predefined functions that work with the string values the string handling functions are defined in a header file called as string h so what are uh, first we need to discuss that what are predefined functions in c language we have already known that there are some functions which are already predefined in some header files so that when we run those functions they will run or they will operate according to the task they are defined to for example we can say in c programming print a function is used to print any output on the screen or we can say scan a function is used to take any input of data in a program similarly there are many predefined functions in same order there are also string handling functions which are already predefined with some string values so that they will work according to their defined task whenever we want to use any string handling function we must include the header file first that is string h then the function name and it is going to work accordingly as it is predefined so here are some of the examples of string handling functions first in order to find the length of the string there is a string handling function called string length str length that is str for string len for string uh, len for length so in order to find the length of the string that how long it is what is the size of the string we are going to use str length function second to copy the string we have used the function str cpy str cpy function so if we want to copy any string from one location to another location or in this we we'll basically say it source and destination if you want to copy the string from a source place to destination place so we can use the function str cpy next in order to concatenate two strings we have the function str cat in our previous slides we have already discussed about what is concatenation concatenation is a string followed by another string for example we have a string x and a string y after concatenating the string x and y the string y will be following the string x so for that we have the function that is str cat so next in order to compare two strings we have the function str cmp that means if we need to compare one string with another string so we can use this string handling function in order to reverse a string we use str rev s t r r e v this is used to take a string input and in order to reverse the string next 
to convert the string from upper case to lower case we have the function str lwr so if the string is in capital letters or upper case it will be converted to lower case or small letters similarly in order to convert the string from lower case to upper case we have the string function str upr so these were some of the string handling functions in our practicals in c programming we will be seeing that how these functions are being utilized so next uh, so let's move to our next topic which is a very important topic called as pattern matching algorithm so while studying indexing we have already studied about pattern matching algorithm we have studied that how a pattern is searched in a text when we get the pattern in the text what is the output and when if we don't get the pattern in the text what will be the output so all this will be discussed in our next slides we will be discussing what is pattern matching algorithm and what are the types of pattern matching algorithm and how does it work and its algorithms thank you